Finally today, our Liz Birch got to ask the tough questions, and she joins us live now. Liz, we're all very interested to hear what the mayor had to say. Wayne, absolutely. For context, you'll remember this team was on the front lines of this year's and last year's destructive riots. We want to show you some video right now. This is a memo we got through a public records request, and it shows the team expresses a list of concerns, including serious injuries they received and what they call a lack of leadership from City Hall and local political leaders. I got the chance to ask the mayor about their decision to resign. Uh, you mentioned that you'd heard the concerns from the RR team when they resigned. I'm wondering what your response to those concerns are and if you're worried about further retention within the Bureau after hearing their concerns. I am worried about retention in the Bureau. Look, the, these are men and women who do a very tough job under what, I what, under what I think are probably the most difficult circumstances police officers have ever been asked to operate in. They, uh, they've been out there night after night after night for 14 months. And what I'm hearing from them is they're tired, they're exhausted, they're stressed, and they don't feel that they have the level of support either from elected officials or from the community to be able to do their jobs effectively. Mayor Wheeler went on to say they deserve to be heard, but he also wanted to tell the public their safety is still being protected, saying he directed the chief to deploy the mobile field force and said he'd been on the phone making sure we have, quote, adequate relationships with the county sheriffs and state police. That memo I referenced is right now on coin.com where you can read it in its entirety. Back to you.